that's yeah. that's why I didn't really know it was him at first uh-huh. because I was like, who's just walking around? Celebrity walking around. Oh, I forgot. Hmm. Welcome back. Oh, yeah, we filming. Yeah. We filming. We playing, dog. Go ahead. What's up with you, man? Mm-hmm. How you doing, my boy? Yeah, hey, welcome back. Sorry, we was yeah. having a regular conversation. Mm-hmm. We was talking about uh, Sean Paul. But welcome back. Mm-hmm. I'm your host, Gary Payton Jr. Lavelle. Yeah, my best friend here with me. Yeah, I'm still and, here. And uh, we are back to mm-hmm. talk about a lot of things like we always do. Yeah. Um, you but, know, we talk, you know, we about to talk about. Yeah, well, uh, no, wait, fr- hold on, huh. dude. How are you? What's going on? Oh, yeah. He's just trying to skip the formalities. Bro, because... This is crazy. How are you doing? I'm doing all right, bro. How are you? I'm good. I yeah. can't complain. Mm-hmm. Um, I do want to bring something up. People keep on asking, are you going to get your hair braided, or are you going to let me cut your hair on live? They keep asking you that? Yeah. Mm-hmm. When are you going to get your they, hair braided? No, they're no, they asking me. If when you're going to get your Like, are you going to braid your gonna... hair? Oh, me if I'm going to braid my hair? Yeah. And then if you're not going to braid it, if you're going to cut it, mm-hmm. are you going to let me cut it? I that's been, am that's been a... going to do something with my hair eventually. Okay. Mm-hmm. Soon? Eventually. Eventually. Okay. All right. Well, now that we got the formalities away, yeah. let's talk about something that we both love. Yes, sir. That you guys love. And the famous words of Tyrese from Too Fast, Too Furious, we hungry. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. What are we talking about? I'm going to let you go ahead and segue that. Oh, food. Yeah. Yeah, sir. Yeah, we talking about some food. Yeah, I didn't know bro. how to, like, transition. Come on, bro. It was like, we hungry. We hungry. It was like a mic drop moment. So mm-hmm. I was just kind of like... Tyree said you, that. I was though. letting you do that. You remember he but said we that? we're going to start with uh, breakfast. Breakfast. Yeah. What's your go-to breakfast spot? Okay. I thought Let's start there. Food. Let's start go-to breakfast spot. Okay. For you. Ugh, man. You know what? What do... Go to breakfast spot, and uh-huh. then we'll do your go to home meal. Okay. So we're gonna do it like that. Okay. Here's okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Hold on. Okay. Hold on. You talk to me. As a kid, I love breakfast. Okay. As an adult, I don't really like it as much as I used to. Mm-hmm. But if I'm gonna get breakfast, I'm going to Wendy's. You ever had Wendy's then potatoes and breakfast? <laughs> hey, Wendy's breakfast potatoes. I'll be real with you. Huh? I haven't had Wendy's breakfast in a minute since they like upped. Like I've had the newer items, but I haven't had the My newer God. items. <laughs> So, it's so, you've been good. talking about this it's for so a minute good, now. Bro. Yeah. So, tomorrow I might have to wake up and get me some Wendy's. Bro, get breakfast. Wendy's breakfast potatoes. If you get their, uh, their honey bis- honey biscuit. Hella good. With the honey. I you know that. what I'm talking about. Oh, you got yeah. the honey chicken yeah, thing. Yeah, that's fire. Yeah. Fire. 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 Now, the potato, that's the one thing I haven't had. Oh. Wait, so does it come in like a, a cup? Does it come in? How does it come? Yeah, like it's like potato stuff. wedges. You know, like wedge fries? Oh, it's wedges. It's kind of like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I thought you were talking about the cut up because, you know. Nah, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna get you that when I bro. talk about And they put spirit. they put seasoning on it, bro. Okay. They season it. You can see the seasoning. They season it. Oh, you can see it. Oh, you can it's see visible. it. Oh, yeah. Okay. It ain't John Cena, bro. You can see All right, it. Him. So yeah. Wendy's is your go-to spot. Yeah, for now like, at home. Uh-huh. You make yourself a meal. If I'm gonna make myself something, it could be eggs. It could be cereal. What you? What's your go-to? Okay. If I'm gonna really make some breakfast, I'm pancakes, eggs, bacon, the whole thing. Wait, what's your? But what is it? Is it pancakes, eggs, bacon, and that's it? Yeah, yeah, pan, pancakes, eggs, bacon. I'm cool. Uh huh. And mm-hmm. then you, what's your bev? Water, or orange juice. It depends how okay. I'm feeling that Some day. Some people don't like OG yeah. in the, OJ in the morning. That's crazy. But wait, they don't like it in the morning when they so, drink it. Some people don't. I actually, I don't drink orange juice if it's not the morning. I do. You Sometimes do. Sometimes I be like, you want some mid middle I need of the day some vitamin juice? C in the middle of the day. You want some orange juice? I, I drink some orange juice. That's crazy. I really don't ever want it in the middle of the day. Yeah. Y'all be wanting orange juice in the middle of the day? See, that's the thing. I don't think I, like, want it. Like, I think it's one of those things, like, if you see it. You yeah, don't drink so? Yeah, if I go, I'm telling pope you. Pope or no pope? Woo! That's a good one. Mm-hmm. Ooh, I'm going to make a same out of this one. <laughs> um, I think a little bit of both. But I go mm-hmm. with no pope. Mm-hmm. I go with no pope. But I don't know. Like, when you go to one of them nice restaurants. Oh, and they freshly. And they, man, what? Then you can't beat that. Y'all you got strainers back there. Y'all got yeah. strainers training. Can't beat that. But no pope though. Yeah. No, pope. no I don't want no the pope. pope game, for sure. Mm-mm. Yeah. I just, I don't like when you're drinking something and stuff be mm-hmm. unless like boba. Oh, okay. And even with boba, bro, I don't like a lot of it. Oh. Yeah, I don't mm, mm. I'm not a boba guy. Yeah, but yeah. I haven't tried it in a minute, so I'm mm. not gonna knock it. Yeah. Not hating on boba. All right. Yeah. I like boba. Run it back, go get some. The place mm-hmm. that served smooth mm-hmm. and stuff. All right, question. Pancakes, French toast. Or waffles? Pancakes. All day? Pancakes. All right, pancakes. I do like waffles, but I'm going to yeah. always go pancake. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Because you right. know why? It's harder to mess up a pancake than mm-hmm. it is a waffle. Okay. 
Mm-hmm. Okay, okay. All right. So now it's my turn, huh? Yeah. So spot. Said, Start with spot. I said go to spot. spot. So mm-hmm. does it have to be a fast food or it could be like... Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, nah, because I did fast food. So, yeah. so you did fast food. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I can't say Wendy's like that because I haven't had them in the morning like that, mm-hmm. like crazy. So I am going to go with the original... I mean, I feel like it's probably the goat McDonald's breakfast. McDonald's. And, uh, can't go shout wrong, out to bro. Louise, he just told me that McDonald's just extended their time to 11.30. Am I wrong? Right? 11.30, guys. So if you did not know that, you'll have a little extra time to go get you Bro, they, didn't they used to have breakfast. it all day? They did. So this is my thing. Why did y'all stop? Why? Yeah, now, it was I don't like all the day limited time only thing. Oh. Wait, the thing stopped during COVID. the pandemic? Oh. That's crazy. That don't make no sense. Why? COVID stopped breakfast all day? <laughs> That is wild. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just had like the. I yeah. just realized that COVID, COVID stopped breakfast. Stopping all whole industries, bro. COVID, you just out here just. That's and crazy. now it's like a flu. Mm-hmm. But we're not even talking about you, COVID. But yeah, right. okay. So now they. McDonald's. They was 10 30. Mm-hmm. Then they was all day. And now they, they are 11 30. Yeah. So you got a little extra time to get yeah, your breakfast. Well, extra right? hour. That do be the worst, bro. You pull yeah. up and it'd be like. Oh, it'd be like a minute mm-hmm. after. You'd be so hot. Like, yep. oh my God. I know. I just wanted a little McGriddle. But hey, yeah. you know. Wait, what do you get when you? All right, I'm about to tell you right yeah, now. Yeah. So I got a few things. Mm-hmm. My OG order that I've gotten since I was young has been two sausage McGriddles, uh, not McGriddles, sausage McMuffins. McMuffins. Uh-huh. But as I got older, I was like, all right, I like the sausage egg McMuffin. So I started getting the sausage. But I get two sausage egg McMuffins. Sometimes I get a hash brown. Depends on how I feel that day. Mm-hmm. But I always get an OJ, like you said. Yeah. So that's my go-to meal. Is there crack in the hash browns? Be honest. It's cracking the fries. Oh. I know they both potatoes, but it's but the fries. The fries. The fries is, is something in those things. Yeah. But the hash browns is good. I mean, hash but let me tell you my alternate order. Mm. And I'd start doing this because uh, the mother of my child does this with my son. And she kind of put me on game. So you get the big breakfast, mm-hmm. with the pancakes. Mm-hmm. Right? Get the back, big breakfast with the pancakes. Okay. It usually comes with a McMuffin. Okay. Substitute that. With a biscuit. Okay. So then when you get your whole meal, right, you get the hash brown on the side. Because everything come with that breakfast, right? So uh-huh. you get the pancakes, the eggs, the sausage, a biscuit, right? Mm. You got all of that hash brown on the side. I'm a fan of jelly. I like jelly. I like grape I or strawberry. Mm-hmm. You know, to each his own, right? So you get that, right? Mm-hmm. Get home. You got your pancakes. Oh, Me, yeah. personally, I separate my pancakes. I like syrup. I put a nice amount of syrup on my pancakes. Oh, you use the whole thing, huh? I like it. Yeah, you got to cut them, though, and then you put butter, you know? Mm-hmm. And then you got to cut them. That's, that's the thing. You got to cut them and then put the syrup after. So right, you got to right. let it fall uh-huh. in between. You yeah, because you got to get all the crevices. Yeah, you yeah. got to let it do that, right? Yeah, it's a process. <laughs> it's a process. So they give you, you know, how the eggs come. It's like a sheet of eggs, like mm-hmm. if you was at the damn cafeteria. Yeah. Sadly, yeah. but hey, it works. Mm-hmm. So you use your, your knife, cut that thing up, same size as the biscuit. Mm-hmm. Put that sausage patty on there. Mm. What I got? I got me a biscuit sandwich. Yeah. <laughs> and I ain't even have that. And what? That, I don't even know what. That run like the big breakfast, probably like eight, nine dollars at the most. Dang. But I got all of that plus some pancakes and a hash brown. <laughs> what? Yeah, you doing it, bro. So that's my those Dang. my ones, my hitters. I ain't never done that before. But I also haven't had that breakfast, the the pancake breakfast, since I was like a kid. Man, that's crazy. Look. I'm telling you, go go do nah, it. Nah, you think you think you gonna be full too? You in 2050? I'm not even gonna lie. Yeah. I usually kill the pancakes, uh-huh. and then I start eating the sandwich after. Dude, I I damn near never finish the sandwich. It just Bruh. really depends on how, because you gotta think about it. You putting your own amount on there, so it's like a it's not a nice generous. Yeah, you do what you uh, want. Things on yeah, yeah, yeah. So mm-hmm. yeah, have it so your I way. Got, I got mm-hmm. I got that as the the spot. So McDonald's, and you got yeah. my you got my orders. Okay, right. and now you at, at the crib home? with it. You at the crib with it. Yeah, at home. Give me your try hard breakfast. What's your like? Okay, I'm about to throw down, and make some breakfast. What's that? What's what's that look if like? If I were to do that, see, mm-hmm. I'd be doing all types of stuff. Mm-hmm. And I started doing this in like, in like college when I started like experimenting with different type of French toast. I done did cereal French toast. Oh, oh, yeah, <laughs> you're all of that. Right, okay. Yeah, I try hard though. Yeah, for real, for real. I one time, and it became like the one that I like to do. Mm-hmm. The um, you get the croissants, mm-hmm. and you basically make those French toasts. But I do that. Yeah, you you get You're the making French croissant, French French toast, toast croissants. croissants. Yeah, so you can either do it two ways. You okay. can either do a French toast croissant, uh, just French toast that as it is, or you can 
French toast stack, cut it in half, make a sandwich. It's uh. a French toast sandwich. Eggs, sausage, bacon, uh. whatever you just, you, you know what I'm saying? Some people don't eat pork. For y'all that don't eat pork, uh. go ahead and get you some beef bacon or something like yeah. that. Turkey, turkey bacon. bacon. Turkey bacon. Mm. But turkey bacon, see, the I don't way like it's cooked bacon. sometimes. See? I don't like the way it looks. There you go. He don't like the way it looks. So, <laughs> depending on what. But yeah, this is mine. You get the little croissant, make your little croissant French toast. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Eggs on the side. I haven't been doing cheese lately. That's... So I, I, try, I try not to add cheese. Bro. If it don't come with it, I try not to add it. You're responsible, bro. I don't think so. Because oh. sometimes I'll be like, man, <laughs> when I do eat the cheese, I be oh. eating cheese. Oh. You know what I'm saying? Oof. But yeah, that eggs on the side, mm-hmm. me personally, I like the sausage from when I go to uh, like restaurants and stuff mm-hmm. like that. At home, I used to do the little links mm-hmm. or you do the little maple circles. You, yeah, you like the circles or the links? I'm going to be honest with you, I eat more bacon at, at the crib mm. for breakfast. Instead of sausage. Cause you, yeah, because the yeah. bacon, man, think about it. You put that bacon in the oven, get it right, mm-hmm. right? Yeah, so that's that'd be mine. I do a French hey, toast. Hey, people eggs, don't really know about the bacon, bacon in the oven. Bacon in the oven. Because people crazy. put it in the microwave normally. Microwave yeah. or the stove. But this is a hack with that, too. Huh? With the microwave or the stove? With the microwave. I don't know it, but uh, it's one I thought of them. you were about to tell us. No, I don't have it. Look, I like it in the I oven because... Because you can even put mo in the oven. Because mm-hmm. when you put it in the microwave, you can only really fit a few in there. What like about the air fryer? Faux. Have you tried it? No, nah, I ain't trying it. I haven't either. Oh, okay. I, I thought you was about I, to put me on. No, I, I like, just asked. Oh, no. Nah. I, I just asked. No, nah, that's what I don't know. I, don't, I haven't tried it. Now I, I don't have enough. an air fryer that's big enough. You know them links be like, they too oh, I got long. Two. I got the one with the two. Oh, yeah. Mine ain't big enough yeah. for, for us. Yeah. But, okay. Well, we, I'll try it out and then I'll let you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, cool. I'm down with like you. Um. I got pancakes. Pancakes? And I'm going to tell you why I choose pancakes. Because I do like French toast a lot. But when you go to places, the service just don't be worth what you're paying for the French toast. I'm saying, And that bro. just turns me off of everything. Pancakes are too so, hard to mess And then I can up. always get a good pancake. You can always get a good pancake. Quick, quick, quick question. Hmm. Who got the better pancakes, IHOP or Denny's? Damn. I don't know. That's a good question. I don't what do know. you think, Luis? It's been a long time since I've been to Denny's Personally. or IHOP. IHOP. I mean, they the international house of them, so you. you know what I'm saying? What you got? IHOP. Andrew, IHOP or Denny's? I ain't been to IHOP. I'm giving Lavelle time. Huh? Yeah. Five yeah. wise Denny's. Taste wise It's not the size. Uh huh. Hoel? Denny's IHOP's trash. Damn. Damn. Did y'all hear that? We hey, we do not promote any of that. <laughs> <laughs> Denny's know, IHOP sponsor. Wait, what'd you say? You could put pancakes right here on this table. We could do a taste test. <laughs> yeah, Denny's taste if y'all test. Want, you know what I'm saying? We could Denny's versus IHOP. Right IHOP. We, we do rock, paper, scissors already. Uh-huh. Denny's Pancake. versus IHOP. Pancakes. Uh-huh. IHOP. Wait, Denny. what'd you say? You said IHOP? Yeah, IHOP. Hey, I don't know, bro. I ain't been to either one in a long time. I guess I'll say IHOP. That's probably the last one I've been to. You see that? You mm. see that, Denny's? I don't know. Yeah. But you know, you know what I love IHOP. more? So that means you got to send us some pancakes and change our mind. You know what I love more than either mm-hmm. one of those, though? What? The mom and pop breakfast spots. They be throwing down on some pancakes, bro. Oh, yeah. my gosh. What's your, what's your go-to? Oh, There was a spot by my parents' house. I can't called? remember what it was called, bro. It's like, I can't remember what it was called. But their pancakes, oh, my. I don't know That's what they were That's a cheat code, though. They were so buttery, That's bro. And, oh, my. Cheat code. Because it's a mom and pop shop. Yeah, because they, they, they do whatever they want with them. Of course. Oh, my gosh. You know who has good pancakes? Uh, I think it's in... Hollywood or West Hollywood or something. It's called Griddle Cafe. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, my hey, God. I've heard of that. Them pancakes, first of all, they the size of two people's faces put together. They big as hell, So bro. you get one pancake. No, nah, you get like two of them, but they like... And they face pancakes. Big as hell, bro. You, did you finish yours? Not in one sitting. I had to take it home. Yeah. Yeah, because it was like a, a okay. cinnamon apple pancake. Re- oh. <sighs> Yeah. Who? You I got me to... excited a little bit. Oh, my God. Yeah, that yeah. sounds crazy. That's like my lane right there. My God. Yeah. It's just so good. So, question. When uh, you reheated those pancakes, were those a, like, some pancakes you can't reheat. Yeah, the, the ed- edges get all, like, weird. How was it? How was the It was reheat? cool, because it was like, you got to get you gotta get some, y'all. Griddle Cafe. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. All nah. right. All right. Mm-hmm. Okay. That's, that's right. it for breakfast. That's huh? breakfast burrito. And breakfast. Oh, okay. hey, look. I was going to pass the breakfast burritos, because we were just talking about just the traditionals. Mm. Dog. What? I can't I can't name the best, best breakfast burritos out here because I only know um what's bourbon. the one? Just bourbon. Oh yeah. bourbon. Just bourbon. Oh man. Look, so if y'all if y'all from Burbank or know Burbank, there's two very specific places people Corner argue Cottage about. Norms. People are always argue about Corner Cottage and Apollos. And Apollos. Yeah. Apollos is pretty fire. I'm an Apollos person. I mess yeah. with Apollos. Apollos is pretty fire. Corner I'm Cottage. A, I'm gonna say this. I haven't had them in a while though. 
But Apollos. those are some of the best burritos I've had. I'm not even gonna lie. I'm going to Apollos. I might have you to go You going to Apollos? Have you guys ever had Larry's chili compressed? I hear chili about dog. this. I don't know. Is where that Larry's. what you've been telling me? I don't huh? know where Larry's chili is. Is that what you've been telling me? Where's that at? Where's that? Larry's. Okay. I don't know. All right, what separates it? Sure. I don't know. What do they do? They do sausage, potatoes, cheese vibe. They do everything the same. Mm-hmm. It's just different. It's just textures on the Damn. Larry's? I'll try it. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll slide what down the potatoes are crispy. They do all day or they do in the morning? All day. Mm. Oh, Sounds about right. Rightfully yeah. so. Mm-hmm. Smart. I'm down. I'll try it. We'll do a burrito taste test. Okay, next time we got to do that. All right. We're going to get all the burritos and then. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right. What's next, bro? You now know what it is. Now lunch. 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 I'm going to just give you my straight go-to meal at home. Okay. I can eat a, tini- a turkey sandwich. Titty sandwich is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say that. But I didn't say that. <laughs> say that. <laughs> but that's wild. Mm-hmm. A turkey sandwich. Uh-huh. <laughs> Man. Mine is not in the gutter. A turkey mm-hmm. sandwich I can eat mm-hmm. at any time. <laughs> hey, Luis. You got me. <laughs> What what um, turkey sandwich for wait. me with regular lace chips or wait, kettle chips? Wait 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 wait. What is on the turkey sandwich though? Okay, build I it, build have... it for us. All right. So um, the bread I get is the artisanal bread. Mm-hmm. Oh, I know what you're that talking about. Bread. Yeah, that's off. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I get that. Oh, I get that, or I either get that. Um, it's this bread, and I think it's only at Trader Joe's. But mm-hmm. It's like the croissant bread, and it's like uh, they they it's a loaf bread, but it's croissant. Oh, so I, I ain't get never seen that. that. That's mm-hmm. pretty amazing. So if I had it in my in my world, I do the croissant bread, and then I do honey roasted turkey, mm-hmm. right? I would do provolone cheese. Okay, provolone. Yeah, I'm gonna do um, lettuce, tomatoes. I would like that, um, and then for my sauce. So I usually do just regular. I do mayo, mm-hmm. not not Miracle Whip. Yeah, mayo, yeah, like that real. Right. Yeah. But I start uh, doing the the little sauce that um, my people make. It's the mayo, mustard, relish. All together in the sauce? Yeah, and then you mix it together, and it's like a sandwich spread. Hmm. And then that's what I do. That's my I sandwich right there. Okay. And it'd be fire. It'd be fire. Oh, and I can't forget the salt and pepper. Really pepper, not salt. Mm. Not pepper, yeah. yeah. Just a dash. Just a dash of salt or just a dash no, of pepper? pepper. pepper okay, no I feel you. I said salt and pepper because they go together. Yeah, But yeah. The, the pepper, though. That's the thing. Yeah. Okay, sure. Yep, that's my lunch. Bro, yeah, I love a sandwich. Lunch. I love a sandwich. Yeah. I don't know about... Uh, lunch is hard, bro. I but eat so my, many different things. Oh, that's my at home. Let me give you my go-to. A spot? You got a spot? Outside. Okay. Spot, lunch-wise, whew. That's so crazy. See, this thing, I can't say in and out because I can eat that lunch and dinner. Mm. Like in and out is just, uh, yeah, mm. that's it's this problem because mm. that that damn near might be my lunch and dinner. Yeah, but I'm gonna just go with. I'm not even gonna lie. Chipotle be hitting at lunch. Chipotle. I'm not even gonna cap. I ain't and then I feel I don't feel I don't feel heavy. <laughs> <laughs> I can control what that feel like. Yeah, you know, yeah. I ain't gotta put too much. Mm-hmm. So just right now on wax, I'm gonna just put Chipotle for now. I might scratch it off later, but yeah. Chipotle right now that's mm-hmm. the one that's coming to mind because, yeah. Dang, this is a hard one, bro. Because I just eat too one. many different things. But for lunch, See, that's what I'm saying. That's what I, I say. I'm put a placeholder. Yeah, yeah. I think for lunch, it's probably tacos. Okay. I, oof, I, mm, some tacos. Make your own tacos. Oh yeah. That's that crib. That oh yeah. Crib lunch? I'm okay. making them at home. Okay. I make some chicken tacos. Look, one day if y'all ever get to know me, you know, I might make some chicken tacos for y'all. So. <laughs> mm. Well, I throw down on you some, make chicken some tacos. chicken nachos too. Nachos, tacos, holla at me. Yeah, bro. I have such a problem with nachos that anywhere I go, if they have nachos on the menu, you get it. I have to get it or I have to stop myself from getting it. Mm. If I'm with people, like, like I don't really know like that, I won't get them. But you if remember we used to go to that one place? Chevy's? To... Remember I used to? I already know. You, I already it, know. It, made, it was good for me because it yes. was right next to Barnes & Noble. <laughs> yes, it was. Yeah, so you and you knew Oof. that too. Mm-hmm. So he was like, yeah, we're going to go here. Yeah. Chevy's was this, I don't even know, I don't think it exists anymore, nope. but it was this Mexican restaurant. Yeah, hella good. That had these damn nachos, and they were huge. Huge. Big ass plate of nachos. That's true. Delicious. Mm-hmm. What he said. You can, there is, I think it was an appetizer. Like it was for multiple yeah. people. <laughs> yeah. I used to go in there sometimes. That's what we used to do. Just get that. Yeah. That's <laughs> it. Yeah. You eat that whole thing. Else. Else. Oh my God. Let he think about it. Shit. Is it you know who has good nachos? Oh, yeah. There's yeah. a spot in Hollywood called Tequila. T E K I L A. Huh? Like, te- like yeah. Te- yeah, like te- her, te- but te- not te- like her. Oh, okay. But yeah. They got some. Higher nachos. You know what makes a good nacho, bro? 
the chips. If you if your chips get soggy under all the weight of whatever you're doing, don't use those chips. Because if you're going to be doing a lot, you got to have sturdy chips. You know what I'm saying? You ever get nachos and they be like, like kind of wet? They be like... Like New York? Like getting sturdy? Yeah. Like sturdy okay. chips? Yeah, that's the chips you want. But you don't want the, the floppy chips. Uh, yeah, I get it. Yeah. I get it, yeah. Keep your chips sturdy. Mm-hmm. Like New York. Sturdy chips. Mm-hmm. So we got nachos. So we got tacos, chicken tacos at the mm-hmm. crib, mm-hmm. and then those super nachos. Yeah, it's either... If, if they're not going to be tacos, they're going to turn into nachos. But okay. for a spot... Mm, we doing fast food? You, you did fast food, right? Mm. A lunch spot that I go to a lot. Mm. I just chose Chipotle because it's like one of those things where you out that you would get. Unfortunately. I ain't gonna lie. Oh, I'm, <laughs> take that back. Chick fil A. Oh. Uh, yeah. Chick-fil-A. Oh, that'd be my, I ain't gonna lie. Chick fil A be hitting for lunch for me a lot. Waffle fries. You know. <sighs> can't go. <laughs> I don't know about you. I get the, uh, what's the thing uh, with the lemon in it with the, uh, with the vanilla ice cream? I don't even know if you... It's, it's not a lemon up. I forgot. It's like... Oh, what? <laughs> it got lemon ice cream? What'd you say? Dude, it's like a... <laughs> so they take the lemonade. They lemonade that they make. Okay. They put a scoop of ice cream in there. Okay. And they blend it up. I know it sounds crazy. Okay. I'm telling you. Try it. Because it's the season of the peach one right now. But I'm... Dude. Okay. It's so good. Oh, a frosted lemonade. French. But it's with the... Yeah, with but it's ice with cream. the ice cream. It's good. I'm telling with you. Oh, you know what? I'm Actually, have you heard you. of a gelati? Like... Y'all heard of a gelati? What's a gelati? I'm about to put y'all on right now. Wait, hold on. When I was in Florida, there's this this place that used to sell them, and I could not remember what they were called, but I was addicted to them. But so a gelati is, um, you ever had Italian ice? It's like shave ice. Of course, I love Italian ice. So what they do is they they um, do Italian ice, then put soft serve, and then they put Italian ice in soft serve. They layer it. Oh, those go together. Whoo, do they? Well, I'm just not do hearing they? about gelati. I normally, I keep it classic. I'll do like strawberries and cream or like orange and cream. Because it's like, remember those orange cream sickles? Ooh, I love orange it's cream. It's that type of vibe. I like orange cream soda, that it's flavor. It's that type of vibe, bro. If you can have, if y'all can so, find a gelati, get try a gelati. So look, just think about but that. But that's why I was like, oh, that might no, actually be kind of ice. It's fire. Bro, okay. I haven't had the I'll peach one, though. I'm going to try, try the peach it. one. But the lemon one, dog. I'll try it. It be hitting, and then it hit with the meal. It oh hit with the God. meal, bro. I'm going to try it. <laughs> try if it, it. If it's yeah, as good as a know. gelati, uh-huh, I'm with that. You might. Hey, look, mm-hmm. I'm telling you. It try might a gelati, be y'all. Um, but for a lunch spot, I was going to say, unfortunately, unfortunately, probably Taco Bell. Okay. And I think it's because they just be so close to me. Yeah. I'll run to a Taco What's you, Bell. What you bro. get, though? Oh, Anytime. Oh, let me do my Chipotle order real quick. Oh, you got a specific Chipotle order? Yeah. Okay. Well, not nothing crazy. Okay. But I get the double wrap. Chicken burrito. Sometimes, depending on how I'm feeling, mm-hmm. I do extra meat, but I do steak and chicken, mm-hmm. depending on how they go. But look, just to add on, you got to get the vinaigrette. I know everybody's starting the to do vinaigrette. They got vinaigrette. The salad vinaigrette is oh. orange. Uh huh. But people have been mixing that with the sour cream. Mm-hmm. I usually just get the vinaigrette. I get like two of them on the side, mm. and, it's, and I use it as the dressing for my um, for my burrito. I ain't but never had that. That's fire. Crazy. I only get the bowls though. So fire. Oh, you only get the bowls. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, I do double wrap burrito because usually, you know, the burritos start breaking, so I double wrap it. Dang. Sometimes that make it harder to finish the burrito. Hey, you know how it's good That'd burritos? And I got to get chips on the side with corn. I always have to get chips with, yeah. if I get a burrito or something. Yeah, got to. You know who got good burritos that Andrew actually put me on because they was they selling out of out of a gas station. Uh, this place called Cilantro. <laughs> hey. Luis know. Hey. Andrew know. Andrew, lean your head over. That's why I don't know about cilantro, man. Yeah, and you I'm ain't, not picky. You don't even live here. Hey, but... Hey, wait, wait. That's crazy, bro. They sell burritos at this gas station. They are fire. That means that it was like three other people that was there with me. He put that all on me. Hey, you just going to keep on coming at me like this, Andrew. All right, go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> cilantro, though. Hey. All right, then I got to go cilantro, then. Mm-hmm, I'm going to go without Andrew. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, but what was I gonna say? Oh my, uh, yeah, Taco Bell is my normal like lunch thing because uh-huh. it's just easy to get to and it's cheap. Of course. But anytime Taco Bell has a box, I'm gonna get the box. Ah, you with me? Every time I do the box every yeah. time. <laughs> like just get the box. It come with so much stuff in it. Look, I like all the boxes that Taco Bell do, but when they put them fries in that box, oh the nacho fry box. <laughs> oh my god, you gonna get the nacho fry box? <laughs> the nacho fry box yeah. is wild. Bro. That's an experience. But you know what sucks about that? You yeah. ever get them nacho fries and ain't enough of the... Yes. The, yes. I'd be so mad. Yes. <laughs> like, y'all gonna add a little... But what they put in them the... fries, though? Them fries be that good. 
crack. They be re- they be better than some regular fries, some other fries from other mm-hmm. establishments. It's that Dorito like, dust. What? The Dorito <laughs> that, dust. That's, the that's Dorito dust. Yeah. yeah. That's and then they go. Hey, it's so bad. Then they give you a side of cheese. Mm-hmm. <laughs> cheese me crazy. up. Cheese me up. Everything got cheese, boy. I get them center delights. I will never go. I would get 12 of them bad boys. I would murder all 12 of them. Hey, Luis. Yeah. Luis, you don't like the cinnamon, cinnamon delights? No. It's just air. <laughs> no, oh, no, no, no. He's talking about he's talking about those cinnamon twists. Oh, you talking, talking about, about the, the little balls. Delights. Oh, yeah. The yeah. little balls. Okay, all right. Hey, his energy yeah, changes. Nah, <laughs> yeah. I feel you. I never yeah. get those little twist things. I, I hate those things. No, no, no. And you know that's just pasta? Pasta? What? That's pasta. What's pasta? Yeah. That's blowing up pasta, and they put cinnamon. The cinnamon dust on twist it. was pasta. I promise you. You learned that from Jordan. TikTok the stallion. Is a beautiful place. I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try it. I'm up trying some to tell pasta. you. I'm serious. What they use like? Go look it up. Like what they used to pump up a basketball. The bow tie, like the bow tie, whatever y'all want to, uh-huh. pasta y'all want, whatever they cause it to do. Yeah. The love, that's what that is. Think about it. Look at the shape. They just put cinnamon on it. But how? Well, it's big though. Exactly what he just said. You blow them up. Like what a basketball pump. Sure. Yeah, I've seen those videos. Yeah, okay. let's use that. If you say, if yeah. you say so, bro, I don't know. But go look it up. Okay. I'm just telling you, I wouldn't give you no false. You know, I want to ask you, what's your what's your go to dinner? But like type of food. So like either Chinese, Mexican, Italian. Like That's if you hard. if you like gotta, if you hungry, I'm hungry. I'm gonna tell you this. And, I can eat a burger at any oh, time. I cannot right. fail with a burger. Bro. And then exactly, especially when I know where mm-hmm. to go. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you can't. What? Uh, no. Burger, any place. Mm-hmm. I, sometimes I want In-N-Out. Sometimes I want Five Guys. Yeah. Sometimes I want Wendy's. Do you like when your burgers, because you know how In-N-Out got the thin-ass patties. Do you mm-hmm. like the thin patties or you like the the thick ones? Because if I get a thick one, I'll probably just get one. Mm-hmm. If I get thin ones, I'm going to probably get like two or three of the um, yeah. stacks. I don't know. It's, hmm, it's, it just see, depends. And this is why I'm going to give you credit for giving Wendy's credit. Because... Mm-hmm. Wendy's has it. They have the thick patties, mm-hmm. but then when you get those junior bacon cheeseburgers and things yeah, like that, it'll be a thinner one. Mm-hmm. So, I, you know, I'm between. I'm in between. Wendy's give me the best of both worlds, though. Oh yeah. my god, best what? of both worlds. I love a Wendy's burger. Yeah, bro. Wendy's. Wendy's is goaded. Mm-hmm. Sponsor us. <laughs> Sponsor us. Wendy's breakfast, lunch, or dinner. Frosties. We put Wendy's some Frosties right here. They just, didn't they just do a, a new Frosty? They are, they've they been doing a lot of new Frosties. I remember yeah. when I was younger, they never did any other Frosty except yeah. chocolate. Now, they, I've seen them do strawberries. I've seen the strawberry I've seen them one. do all type I of flavors. I've seen the strawberries and cream one. Yeah, it was cool. It was yeah. cool. I tried it. it does, the chocolate one is the best one, though. Okay. It, I can, Yeah, it's the best one. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm like redefining my relationship with chocolate as I get older. You didn't really like it? I like chocolate, uh-huh. but I've always liked like vanilla and things of that such first. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So like recently, I just discovered that I like the chocolate Rice Krispies the most out of all the Rice Krispies. They, oh, yeah, yeah. The I didn't even know. So at oh. Younger, when you get the box, let me tell you, mm-hmm. you know how they got the rainbow ones, the ones with the M&Ms in it? Mm-hmm. You got those and then the regular Rice Krispies and then the chocolate ones. I used to kill the rainbow and the regular ones. Mm-hmm. But when it came to the chocolate ones, there'd be a whole box full of chocolate ones. Man, let me tell you. You, got you talking about the cereal or the, the treat? The bars. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so look. Got to the end of that box this time. Mm-hmm. And it was one of the nights where I was just like, really like, I just want some sweet, like, but not too crazy. Well, I tried one of them chocolate things. That's why I killed the rest of that box. Oh, shoot. I'm talking about it was good on another level. I was like, what am I doing? I was like, is this has this tasted like this the whole time? Bro. And just because I haven't given it no chance. But that one right there. That chocolate, cocoa, crispy, rice, crispy treats, goaded. I'm going to say something. Internet, don't kill me. I don't really like rice, crispy treats. Hmm. I don't think they're going to kill you. I don't know. I just feel like it's one of those treats that people, everybody love, like Oreos. Yeah. Like, I don't really like Oreos. Yeah. But everybody like. Right. That's okay. Yeah. You know I what I do like? I talking about hey, rice you remember, either. You remember them uh, uh, back back when we were in school and they were making all these, uh, uh, they were trying to make all the treats healthy, so they had, like, the baked Cheetos they and did. the, like, they the healthy Oreos, that. and yeah. they were, like, these little octagons. Yeah. Oh, I love those. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. The, like, 100-calorie Oreos. Yeah. They were, like, rock. I love those. those you, are good. Hey, you did that. Said, look, that yeah. brought you joy. Yeah, that shit was so good. <laughs> That's what's up. So, yeah. What we, oh, yeah, we were talking about, we were trying to talk about dinner stuff. Yeah, but I was saying burgers, burgers. man, for me. That's my go-to. That's I, fact, and I love Italian. Oh, my God. Gosh, I love oh, Italian. Italian. I love right. some Italian Have you had food. gnocchi before? Gnocchi. How you say it? Gnocchi. What's that? It's like potato pasta. Oh, it's spelled G-N-O. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, sir. So let me tell you something funny about that. Say it again. Uh, gnocchi. Is it gnocchi? Yeah, gnocchi. Look, 
you know, we got these phones. You could be like speaking everything. Well, yeah. I ain't never just like how you. But every time I'm listening, I'm like, is it Janoshi? What is it? Gnocchi. <laughs> yeah, can like and this is why I like these silent letters. Because it don't make no sense, man. Why you put the G there? Yeah, I don't know. It should have been N-Y. Gnocchi. Gnocchi, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, I know. Lil Wayne said, yeah. "Real G's keep moving silence. silence like lasagna." Like you know, that's one of the coldest. Yeah. yeah, but yeah, thank you for letting me know that's. But the you have you ever had it before? I have. It's good. I love some gnocchi. Bro. I like it. What's your wait? It's what kind good. of sauce is your favorite pasta sauce? Like the white sauce, the red sauce, the vodka sauce. Man, I'm not even gonna cap. I'm liking a chokehold with this pasta from this place called Crepe Vine mm -hmm. down in the bay, and uh, it's a pesto pasta. Mmm, pesto. Boy. Okay. It's a pesto Fire. fettuccine. I'll be adding shrimp to that thing. Mm. The real ones, no. Yeah, What's it called? Pesto. Grapevine? Yeah. Grapevine? Crepe vine. Crepe vine. Yeah, crepe like, vine. Okay. Yeah. I love a crepe. Fuck like with a crepe. But yeah, that pesto, mm. right now, that's my that's my go-to. Dang. But or, usually I'm a, I go go to is the, the original Alfredo. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I but love yeah, that Alfredo sauce. <laughs> pesto. Dang. That's though for the win. Go I ahead. think my thing would be, I think my go-to dinner would probably be burgers too. But you know what I really love getting for dinner? Chinese food. It's just Chinese food be expensive. Chinese food like, is You be fine trying to order it. Like, yeah. oh, it's so expensive. Especially the spots, the takeout spots. Oh my gosh, bro. That's, whew. but I love, have you had black bean sauce? My girl put me on the black bean sauce. You've had black bean sauce? Oh. What's that? Delicious. That's what it is. Okay. I what, ain't never heard of it before. What is it going on? Uh, they do it with like fish, chicken. They might do it with beef. They probably do it. Is with it beef. like a? Is it a heavy sauce or is no, it a light a, sauce? It's like a light. I mean, it's it's black. They come in a packet. No, no, it's like they cook it in it, bro. One day, if you ever get Chinese food, try some black bean sauce with something. What do I, you say? I recommend either fish or chicken. But what do you say? I don't know. They usually have it on the menu. It'll be they have black bean sauce on mm -hmm. the menu. Yeah, it'll be like something, oh. something with black bean sauce. Or, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. no, I didn't know that. If y'all know, now you know. Fire. Okay. Fire. No, nah, that's but a yeah, good pick. That's I think not bad. I I might usually go to is orange chicken, some uh the little veggie the veggie uh what are they called? Plastickers? No, nah, the the rolls. The um egg the rolls? fried egg rolls. The veggie egg rolls. You just said it rolls. Yeah, I couldn't <laughs> I the know. egg part was <laughs> give me. But yeah, veggie egg rolls and some orange chicken and Fried rice or chow mein, depending on the place. I don't really Ooh. get fried rice from hey. Panda Express because I don't oh. like their their fried rice is kind of left to me. The chow mein. I can do that. I'm not even gonna lie. It's this Thai place mm -hmm. that I go to since we on that. Mm -hmm. It's this Thai place with the noodles, bro. But they got this. Uh, it's like a sweet honey shrimp, bro. Ooh, okay. It's so fire, bro. And then, like you said, because you made me think about it, the uh, chow mein with the uh, with the fried rice, fried rice, mm -hmm. just together. Oh, you put them together. Oh man. Oh. They touched one time, and I said. Hmm. <laughs> they touched one time. <laughs> they touched one time. I said, woo. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it changed the game. Try. Try. Hey, oh, I'm down. Hey, I'm with that. Look, I'm let me tell you. Uh, you're going to be a, What's that Will Ferrell? Uh, oh, Will yeah, Ferrell yeah, with the little thing. thing. Yeah. yeah. I'm down no, with that. Right, okay. do it all day. I'll do, I'll do that with Panda Express because they fried rice is not good to me. Yeah. So I would, I'll add it to Chow Man to see if it's. I'm a big fan of uh, Panda, Panda Express. For real? Nah, my son likes it, likes it, but. What do you, wait, where do you go for Chinese? Would just take out places? Yeah. Oh, I feel that. Yeah, I'm. I'm cool. I don't know why. I think just gradually throughout the years, I just was like, nah, I'm cool. You like fortune cookies? Like to eat them? Yeah. I don't really like I them. don't No, not necessarily, but my pops told me, because at first I was like, and I don't know if this is true. I don't know what the real rule of thumb is, but I don't think my dad would just tell me something just for me to be out here doing it mm -hmm. <laughs> and looking crazy. I mean. <laughs> I <would hope> not. <laughs> <laughs> but apparently you're supposed to read your, your fortune and you're supposed to eat the cookie. See, people mm. be breaking in there. Yeah, then, I toss it. But a fortune, to actually, yeah, you yeah, know. Yeah. But that's like probably cookie. why. Your fortunes ain't coming true? No, that's, oh. I was about to say, that's probably the only reason why I would eat the, oh, the, eat the cookie. To get the fortune? But I'm with you. I don't like them because you're not always going to get a fresh fortune cookie. Oh, yeah, that could have been sitting there. And I bit into some stale-ass fortune cookies. Yeah. And I'm that'd good. be bothering me. <laughs> so, yeah, those, nah. <laughs> yeah, I'd I need to go to a place that give out freshly fresh, made. Fresh fortune cookies? That would be tight. There's a place, dude. Y'all know of any places that do freshly made fortune cookies? Nah, I've only ever seen them in the packets already. Oh, yeah. I ain't never seen them fresh. But they give you that fortune right there. Hey, you know, okay, this is so random, but you have you ever had gingerbread, like gingerbread house gingerbread before? Yeah. It's always normally, like, hard, like, crispy, like, yeah. right? Yeah. I had fresh gingerbread one time. Different. 
different. Fire. So soft. Fire. So delicious. And it's so good. Oh my god! It's like everything. Cause I thought I didn't like gingerbread. No. Until I had a <laughs> that fresh jump. Huh? Yeah, fresh gingerbread Boy. is like that. Elite. 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 Yes, yeah. sir. Yeah, for sure. Get you some fresh gingerbread this this uh, Christmas season. <laughs> this holiday season. <laughs> hey, wait, wait. That's a good little. That's a good little transition into yeah. dessert, though. Yeah. What's your goat dessert? What's your what's Brownies. your one? Huh? Brownies. Yes, I knew that though. Oh, I knew that. I knew Bro. that. I ain't gonna lie, growing yeah. up, you always was the one to make brownies. brownies. Yeah. But, That's but your, your mom put me on what? caramel cake. That's our go to, because caramel cake is my uh, caramel cake, but the yellow cake, though. <gasps> the yellow cake with the caramel. Oh car- my God, bro. I think for the past 20 years, I've made a caramel cake every single year because really? of your mom. Yeah. I, lo- I specifically, one year, asked for Shout caramel cakes on my birthday. Oh, yeah. That's the one. Because it's really like that. Like, and then it's, it's fairly easy to make. I haven't made it myself yet, but. Oh, I have. Can I tell you? Oh, you a, can I tell you a story about me making caramel sure, cake? Sure, let's talk about it. So I'm pretty sure the stuff is actually dulce de leche. That's what sweetened condensed milk is when you boil it. Yes, 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 right? yes, 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 yes. Yeah. So his mom put me on to this cake. Basically, you take the um, condensed milk, sweetened condensed milk cans, you put them in some water, and you boil them for like three hours. Mm-hmm. Now, <laughs> she had taught me how to make this, so I have made it plenty of times. One day, being the brilliant person that I am. You are very brilliant. Thank you. You got the Albert Einstein here, too. Appreciate you. Mm-hmm. I was making me some caramel cake at my parents' house, and uh, they were not home. And so I was like, cool, I'm going to make some caramel cake. Me knowing that they have to boil for three hours, I'm like, I'm going I'm to run to the store. Mm. Now, kids, why would you leave a damn stove on while you leave the house? That don't make no sense. So he had, <laughs> Casper was there. He, I leave. <laughs> I leave to go to the store. <laughs> No. At this point, I don't know how long they had been on. I don't no. Know. I leave to go to the store. The store was not far. It was probably like five minutes from the house. So I really was like, it'll be fine. No. So I go to the store. I come back. First of all, smoke everywhere. Oh. There's smoke everywhere. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Caramel on the ceiling. No. <laughs> you never told me this. Oh, my God. Bro, the cans were burning. <laughs> <laughs> and it was just kind of on the ceiling. And it was even what I feel even worse about this is my parents' dog was there at the time. So I just know that she had to be so scared when these cans exploded. <laughs> it was like, bro, your ass. everywhere. Single Whole off. kitchen. There's caramel everywhere. Bro. It was all bad. So, moral of the story don't be leaving Wait. stuff on when you go to the store. Hold on now. Huh? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. So, did you clean this up? Yeah. I had to clean it up. Before they up. got there or? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. I didn't know. I wasn't yeah, sure yeah. if they walked in. No, no, no. Like, I, I, how you I get took the care ceiling? Of... Well, you're a pretty tall fellow. Uh-huh. What did you do? You left the caramel on the ceiling? <laughs> so, wait. Ceilings are high. <laughs> they just high ceilings. Wait, this is the last place? Yeah. <laughs> you left the caramel on the ceiling? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> the ceilings are. We, I had no ladder. What was I supposed to do? <laughs> Parents. Bell's parents, X, they, if y'all didn't know, now you know. They ain't watching. <laughs> Caramel on the ceiling. <laughs> y'all ain't watching. <laughs> what she gonna do? <laughs> <laughs> Moral of the story, don't be leaving stuff on yeah, when you go don't places. Don't be leaving stuff on. Just finish phone. it and then go. Yeah. All right. Yep. Yeah. Or set a timer or something. Yeah. <laughs> nah, but still don't leave but it. Don't leave don't it on. <laughs> yeah. All right, that's your that's your dessert. Yeah, yeah. What's, right. Yeah, what you got? My go to dessert is cinnamon rolls. Oh, bro, you there's so many different cinnamon. ways you can do cinnamon rolls. Boy, the and amount I just, of times we've been to Cinnabon. Yeah, that's my. Now I'm gonna be honest with you. Hmm. Of late, I've retired from going to get cinnamon rolls from like, Cinnabon. Oh yeah, I don't even go that. Often. They are mad expensive now. They're crazy. Expensive. It'd be like a four pack for like thirty dollars. And I'd be yeah. like, bro, what is going on, bro? Mm-hmm. Like, I know it's, I know y'all put crack in y'all cinnamon buns, but yeah, come on now. But cinnamon rolls, mm. specifically at home, because Pillsbury now they, ones. Pillsbury released the butter roll ones, though. Those are the ones you have to get. Butter they, rolls. Yeah, because they roll up like a real. Because you know there's the different ones. You know they got the ones you could just pop in, yeah, air fry already, on the thing. and then they they sprout up, but they not really like a real cinnamon roll. Uh huh. You know what I'm talking about? The bite yeah, ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't like those no more. They released the cinnamon roll one, so it's with the actual cream cheese icing. It got a they yellow. Always, it got a yellow. It got a yellow. You um, gotta like scoop out the ice cream and huh? put it on top. You have to scoop the icing out and put it on top of the thing. Yeah, yeah. They they always had those. Then we used to get those. 
No, they've always had them, but they don't sell them everywhere. Oh, okay. We okay. used to get the red ones, though, the ones you just throw in and you just put the icing on top. Yeah, yeah, Because yeah. you scoop those, too. Yeah. No, I'm talking about you literally have to roll, like, when you oh, take them out. like, yeah, with like your hand. They, you take them off. They already together, oh, but they okay. can unroll, uh -huh. but you got to make sure they rolled up. So when it bakes, it bakes like a real cinnamon roll. And Instead they big, of like too? all together. Yeah, I mean, oh. well, you know the new hack? You put the, um, what is it, the, what is it, not milk. It's not milk. It's, uh... Whipping cream, heavy whipping cream. Where? Yeah, you put the heavy whipping cream in the in the pan. Oh, it like soaks it up or something, huh? It soaks yeah, it up. It make yeah, and it makes it uh fluffier. Like if you were to go to cinnamon, oh, no, I'm gonna try that though. Yeah, and you uh, put a little cinnamon. I'm gonna try a that. Little cinnamon in it. Oh wait, sorry, no, I'm so sorry, bro. Fire. Wait, we have to talk about go something ahead, that on. he put me on. Oh my, and I ain't done this in a long time, bro. Tell him, tell him about the brown sugar, brown sugar pop tarts. Oh, tell tell him. Oh, it's a hack. Ooh. It's a hack. All right. Hey, go to your go to your your store, whatever your closest store uh -huh. is. You go to the pop tart aisle where where the cereal is. Get your favorite pop tart. Mm -hmm. Get your but favorite pop tart. If you tart. don't get this specific one, but we just gonna use brown sugar for this case. Mm. So let me just tell you how to do it. If you guys haven't eaten a pop tart and you don't know how to eat one, just put them in a toaster. <laughs> I only say that. Put them in toaster. I only say that just because I just realized that the newer generation didn't. Some people from the newer generation don't know that you put pop tarts in the toaster. Hey, you, the, you know just, what's crazy? People probably don't even know toasters. They probably just know air fryers. Damn, I didn't exactly. think about that. Sorry, go so ahead. So that's what I'm saying. So look, pop tarts, pop tarts. Pop up. <laughs> All right, put them in the put them in the toaster. Put them in the toaster. Brown sugar, right? Get your two, because we do two. I know mm -hmm. you. Yeah. yeah. So get your two. Put them at the bottom of the bowl. Get your favorite ice cream. Mm -hmm. Me personally, I like either French vanilla or mm -hmm. double vanilla. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Put like. However you want, one scoop, two scoop. Put that on top. Me personally, I be OD with the sugar sometimes. <laughs> I do, I do. I put some caramel on mm. top of that thing, mm. and then you got you a pop tart sundae, and it's pretty amazing, y'all. Oh I'm just trying God. to tell you. He's I'm trying to tell y'all. Brown sugar pop tarts and vanilla ice cream. Now oh look, my God! I just I graduated something new. Yeah, I ain't done it in a long time. Nah, bro. this one gonna this one gonna be way better. Okay, let me put you on. Okay. Have you been to Trader Joe's since we had our last conversation nope. about Trader Joe's? Nope. All right, nope. Trader Joe's has these griddle cakes. Griddle cakes. They reminiscent of the McDonald's griddle cakes. Okay. You can buy them. They come in a little pack. Wait, frozen. like the sausage McGriddles? Things? Yeah, but it's just okay. the griddle cakes. Just the okay. Just the griddle cakes with the syrup inside. So look, let me put you on game. You can either put those in the microwave or the toaster. Mm -hmm. I put mine in the toaster because I like a little, a little crisp, crisp on it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you put the, you know, put the butter on. You put that at the bottom of the bowl. One scoop of ice cream on top of one of those. Mm -hmm. Right? Okay. Caramel sauce. Uh-huh. Graham crackers. Oh. Trader Joe's graham crackers. Okay. Because if you haven't had Trader, Trader Joe's graham crackers, Bye. go try them. They hit a little differently. Okay. They are really good. I'm uh -huh. just, I don't know how, if it's the way they bake them, cut them, whatever it is. Yeah. Crush that up, mm. throw it over top, life changer. That's the new one. That's the one from We Adults. Try that. That's the new one. Yeah, oh, yeah. What? No, no I made it. I made it for G. Uh -huh. He was like, <laughs> changed his life. <laughs> what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was like, huh? Yeah. He was trying to eat another one. I'm like, dude, you yeah. can't. Nah, that's too much sugar. You already got. I that just energy. found out. This is so. I, this is random, but I just found out that babies have more taste buds than us. Yeah, like you lose them throughout your life. Isn't that crazy? Wait, so wait, that's wait. why our babies really wait, love wait, stuff, because other than the fact they're trying it for the first time, everything is just more enhanced. It's intense. Yeah, yeah. Oh, dang. Yeah. Okay, I didn't know that. Yeah, I didn't know either. Man, thanks for letting me know that. I did not know that. That's also why I heard why they usually don't like vegetables and stuff, because, you know, vegetables are typically bitter. Yeah. And, like, so our animal instinct is to think anything that's bitter is poison. So mm. that's why our babies typically don't like bitter stuff, because... They think it's that poison. natural response. He's like, oh, that's poison. Okay. That's crazy. Hey, I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. Thank you for putting me on game. The more you know. And why do we, and why do we, um, why do we lose taste buds? Do you know that or you just I'm, know? I it's think just, it's just like, yeah, oh, okay. as you get older. Okay. You know, fuck All up right. your tongue and stuff. Well, cool. Eating, you know what it is? Eating what? them Tostino's pizza rolls. You, you, you know what I mean? Boy. <laughs> you still eat those? Sometimes. I and sometimes I still eat them too fast. I'm yeah. like, yep. I know ranch? it's hot. I know it's hot. Ranch. I still eat them. I still eat them mm -hmm. too. Yeah. yeah. Cheese or with meat. No? Meat, everything. Don't I, matter. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I eat it. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, next time I'm going to tell you what we used to do with them in college. But that's yeah, for another time. Yeah, we're going to do that time. another show. Yeah, but yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Hey, we didn't reach the end of this segment. Yeah, we did. Segment. 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 Mm -hmm. We didn't reach the end. Mm -hmm. And uh, we didn't gave y'all a lot of uh, good things to talk about. And go try with these foods. 
Try them. Go try our little Don't hacks. Don't deny them. You know, if you haven't had these things mm-hmm. that we've talked about. Also, too, go in the comments. Let us know. Tell us your hacks. Yeah, tell yeah, us yeah. your hacks. Tell us what you like. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You know, let us know. So, yeah, it's GP here signing out. Mm-hmm. It's Lavelle. And that's like a glove. Peace. Love y'all. Peace. Mm-hmm. Woo!